Welcome to beautiful Florida as we open up the 2020 MLB season with some little spring training baseball to get back in the swing of things. The Marlins will be taking on the St. Louis Cardinals in the spring training opener here at Baseball City, Florida in the, Mar in the Marlins' beautiful spring training complex. On the hill for us would be our no number one overall prospect, Sixto Sanchez. Or at least he was our number one overall prospect last year. The new prospect rankings haven't come out yet. Sanchez is a very good pitcher for us, and he may be a day one starter in the MLB rotation. Looking at the Cardinals lineup, we have Colton Wong, Harrison Bader, Jose Martinez, Matt Carpenter, Marcel Hozuna, Paul DeYoung, El Harris Munana, Joe Hudson, and the new pitcher. Here's Harrison Bader to begin the game. He gets a little chopper over towards our first overall selection from last year. That's Reggie Sanchez. He fires it on to the newly acquired Paul Goldschmidt to get the first out of the game. And then the other two count to Jose Martinez. He whiffs at the slider. A beautiful pitch selection there from Sanchez. And that would be the end of the inning. Carlos Martinez would be on the hill. He will be the Cardinals ace for the 2020 season. He had 33 starts last year with a 3.38 ERA. The Marlins lineup will look a little something like this. We have Carter Keboom, Reggie Sanchez, Paul Goldschmidt, Jorge Alfaro, Sterling Castro, former Rookie of the Year, Monte Harrison, Austin Dean, Victor Victor Mesa, and, of course, Sixto Sanchez. First pitch to Carter Keboom would be a little ground out towards the shortstop, De Young. That would be an out there, and Keboom could have a very bright future for us as well. That will bring up Reggie Sanchez, who honestly will probably start at third base for us this season. As he never even played a day in the minor leagues, and he may be a starter for us as he flies out to Marcel Lazuna for his first at bat in that beautiful Marlins blue. Then Paul Goldschmidt, the 2 2 pitch to him. He's going to sky one into center field. Going back is Bader. He will make the catch near the warning track, and that will end the first inning. Moving ahead here, Sixto Sanchez still on the hill for Miami. The 1 0 or 0 1 pitch is a big whiff for Marcelo Zuna, that nasty slider from Sanchez. And then the 0 2 pitch to Ozuna. He gets him back on that fastball. Great work from Sanchez in this game, showing why he could be a starter in our rotation next year. And then Starlin Castro, he had a pretty decent year last year, and he will start it off nice this year. He slaps a double in it to left field to get the ball game started for the Marlins offense. Austin Dean now with two downs, a little pop fly in the center field. Going back as Bader near the warning track, he will make the catch, and the inning is over. So not a lot going here for Miami, offensively at least. Our defense, though, has been excellent. As you can see, Harrison going down on strikes there. Sanchez, a beautiful slider. Now, our second-round pick of the draft was actually Maurice Starks. He has an A potential, very good prospect. He would come in a pinch hit here against Carlos Martinez, and he would line out to the second baseman, Colton Wong, although makes great contact on the ball and almost gets a hit out of it. Miguel Rosario, our third-round draft pick. He also is a 71 overall B potential, a chance to actually start in the major leagues in the bullpen, possibly. But he got roughed up here in spring training. As you can see, he starts off well. Harrison Bader checking at that pitch. They would say he went around. As you can see, he would start to settle in. But then Carlos Martinez would come up to the dish. Or Jose Martinez, sorry. And he would rip one into the gap. This would get down for extra bases going all the way to the wall. As you can see, Victor Victor Mesa picking it up and trying to get it in as quickly as possible. And that would be a double for Jose Martinez. And then Matt Carpenter, the 1-2 delivery from Rosario. He would go down on that slider. A beautiful pitch there from Rosario. But then the first pitch to Paul DeYoung. He rips one, a line drive into left field. It is a home run, barely slicing over that wall. And that would give the Cardinals the lead. That'll be a one-run solo shot here in the top of the fifth. And then the one-two pitch to Jose Martinez would be a deep fly ball into right field. Going back is the right fielder, Monte Harrison. It would get over his head for a double. That'd be extra bases for Martinez. 1-2 delivery here to Harrison. He swings and misses at that beautiful slider. It's been working today for Rosario, his third strikeout. And then Colton Wong, a deep fly ball in right field. Going back to the track. It is gone, and the Cardinals take a 3-0 lead. That's his first home run of spring training as he's getting off to a hot start. And it's 3-0 St. Louis. 0-2 count here to Starlin Castro. He rips one into right field for a single. And that'll get the inning started here in the bottom half of the fifth inning. Run around second and two down. Here's the pitch to Victor. Victor Mesa kind of throws his hands at that pitch, and that would be an RBI for him. That would put Miami on the board. He would slide into second safely for the double. That's going to be an RBI double. We bring in another big offseason acquisition, Steve Ciszek. He would come in here. Had a 1.98 ERA last year, and the submarine-style pitcher succeeded here in spring training, striking out Jose Martinez. And then the 2-2, Marcelo Zuna hits one right back to the pitcher. Ciszek fields it and fires it on the first to end of the sixth inning. 
Carter Keyboom would be up here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. A one delivery would be a little line drive in or right field. It would get down in front of the right fielder for a base hit, and Keyboom gets on base. But then it would immediately be erased as Reggie Sanchez would ground into a 6 4 3 double play, and the Miami Marlins are immediately out of the inning. We bring in a guy that we acquired in the Brian Anderson trade, Shane McClanahan. He had a very good season last year, and uh, I believe he played in double A actually. And he has a chance to have a really nice year this year as well. Grounding out there. And then the 0 1 pitch to Jorge Alfaro. He rips one into the gap. Actually, I forgot to say it was Reggie Sanchez that he grounded out to in the last inning. And Alfaro rips one to this one to the wall. And that would be a stand up triple for Jorge Alfaro using that speed to his advantage. And then immediately, Mark, or actually, I believe that's Devin Marrero who would drive him in. He had a decent year in Triple A New Orleans last season. And then a little later, Tristan Pompey grounding into the end inning. 6-4-3 double play, so the inning is over. Top half of the eighth, McClanahan still on the hill for Miami. 3-2 delivery. Two! The batter, it is a swing and a miss, and the inning's over. Bottom half of the eighth, 1-1 one, one count to Peter O'Brien. Grounded right back to the pitcher. It gets by him for a base hit into, right, into center field. Jordan Hicks would actually be the pitcher for St. Louis at this point. As Miguel Rojas would swing and miss at that sinker. A beautiful pitch location there. Adam Conley would come on here in the top half of the ninth. It's a 3-2 ball game still. And a pitch to Justin Williams, the former Tampa Bay Rays prospect, is a nasty one. That's a strikeout. And then he would get another strikeout on the 0-2 count. So two down for Adam Conley, and he would make a big mistake here. 1-2 count can end the inning. But he hangs a, a slider right over the top half of the plate. That's going to be a home run. Adam Conley made a mistake, and Tyler O'Neill took advantage of it. It's 4-2 Cardinals. Moving on here in the bottom of the ninth. The very first pitch from Andrew Miller to Paul Goldschmidt, the former teammates from last season. Goldie takes him to the wall. That's going to be a stand-up double for Paul Goldschmidt. And they have a runner in scoring position with one down. The pitch to Devin Marrero. He swings at the first pitch and pops this one up into the infield. That's going to be an easy play for the Cardinals infield. Rasa Herrera, the last hope for Miami. Flies out over towards right field, and this ball game is over. The St. Louis Cardinals would beat the Miami Marlins here in the spring training opener by a final score of 4-2. to two. I believe the loss would go to Miguel Rosario, and I'm not 100% sure who the win goes to. We'll see here. It is to goes to Ryan Flaherty, and the save goes to Andrew Miller. That'll be all here from spring training, as we will show the end of spring training stats, and then some of the lineups and rotations for next season. So you can see the leader in runs was Miguel Rojas, and we have Sterling Castro. The leader in hits was, again, Rojas and Castro. Leader in home runs was Paul Goldschmidt with six, Victor Victor Mesa with four, Jorge Alfaro and Miguel Rosario with three, and then Monta Harrison, JT Riddle, and Pedro O'Brien all had two. So we can see moving on to RBIs. We have Paul Goldschmidt with 14, Sterling Castro with 13, Jorge Alfaro with 12, Victor Victor Mesa with 11, Monta Harrison with 10, Miguel Rojas with a nine. Leader in steals was Goldschmidt, Harrison, and Victor Victor Mesa with two. Leader in batting average was the 381 in batting average from Rojas, 353 from Castro, 346 from Cooper, a 313 from O'Brien, and a 300 from Marrero. And then a lot of guys like Maurice Starks and Reggie Sanchez didn't really get the at bats that we wanted them to see. But Reggie Sanchez will still be an MLB starter for next season. Going through some other stats here, just looking through the batting averages. Carter Keyboom struggled over 30 at bats. He had a 138, or 138 batting average. So he will be starting probably in AAA. So looking at just kind of the other guys, just moving through their on-base percentages, Castro and Rojas had the highest on-base percentages with 450 and 429. Slugging percentages, Garrett Cooper had the highest with a 577. Miko Rojas with a 571. Pedro O'Brien with a 531. Castro with 515. Goldstrom with a 511 slugging percentage. And then Victor Victor Mesa with a 479. In OPS, we have Maurice Starks with a 1.250. Miko Rojas with a 1,000. And as we look at pitching statistics now, Jose Urena with four wins and during spring training. We actually didn't see him at all, though, during this episode. Saves was Cody Allen. He'll be a big part of our bullpen next season. Trevor Richards led it with 29 innings pitched. He also led with 14 walks and 31 strikeouts, which is a decent ratio. Urena with that 12 to 19 strikeouts to walks ratio. So we can see moving down, Sixto Sanchez, eight walks, 21 strikeouts. It's pretty decent. Miguel Rosario, the innings that he pitched were the only, the only innings he pitched all of string training were that, was what we saw in this episode. Same with McClanahan. Adam Libertor pitched 7.2 innings, did not give up a run. Urena pitched 28 innings, only giving up a couple of runs as he had a .96 ERA, which is very impressive. 
And then a very high whip from Sandy Alcantara, but a very low whip from guys like Cody Allen, Jose Arena, Dan Straley. That's pretty decent for a starting pitcher. We also would sign veteran catcher Brian McCann to a one-year deal just to add like another roster spot because we only had one catcher on the MLB roster. We'll see him every once in a while. Starting rotation for 2019 looks like Jose Arena, Trevor Richards, Matt Shoemaker, Dan Straley, and Sixto Sanchez. And then in the bullpen, we have uh, Cody Allen as our closer. It says C Steve Ciszek, but it will be Allen. And Ciszek will be a setup guy with Drew Steckenrider. Looking at the lineup, it'll be Reggie Sanchez, the leadoff guy. Sterling Castro batting second. Paul Goldschmidt batting third. Peter O'Brien batting fourth. Jorge Alfaro batting fifth. Miguel Rojas batting sixth. Tristan Pompey batting seventh. Victor Victor Mesa batting eighth. And then the pitcher slot is ninth. This will be our starting lineup for opening day against the Washington Nationals, which will be the next episode. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Thank you, and goodbye.